Somewhere in these vast Rocky Mountains, there's a famous treasure. Thousands have tried to find it, and some have died trying. An Illinois man fell to his death while treasure hunting in Yellowstone National Park. You've probably read one of the hundreds of news stories about the treasure, seen it mentioned on TV shows. The man who's inspired tens of thousands of people to search for a $2 million hidden treasure is now coming out with another book. Or even read about it in one of the dozens of blogs dedicated to solving the mystery. It was hidden by an eccentric 80-year-old who wrote a poem he says holds all the clues. I wanted people to, to go out and, and have some adventure to try to solve the, the clues in the poem. It's known as Fen's Treasure, a bronze chest brimming with gold, jewels, and rare artifacts. I'm Josh Miller. I'm the mayor of a small town in America's other mountain range, the Appalachians. I'm going to find that treasure and use it to rebuild my town, my hometown. A place that's seen better days, Ravenswood, West Virginia. To find the treasure, we'll get to know the man behind it all, Forrest Fenn. We'll pick apart the clues. We'll talk to code breakers and forest rangers and seekers. Some who have spent years and their life savings trudging through the wilderness, convinced it's just around the next bend. And you'll hear what folks in my town think we should do with it once we find it. I would love to see revitalization of old buildings. More recreation and police funding. Build a new city hall. Some say it's just a hoax, but Fenn says it's real. The story is real, the treasure is real. On Finding Fenn, we'll cross paths with other treasure hunters, each with their own theory. And I really believe it's at a place that has sentimental value to him. And we may stumble into a few surprises. Whoa, whoa, 